hello, hello, and hello again. Welcome to Girl Talking Giggles. I'm your sister and your friend, Pastor C. Lynette Lundy, and we're here today talking about our divine, unique abilities, those innate gifts and talents, um, things that we can do that we not uh, have not necessarily been taught to do or have not had formal training in. You know, some people are extremely gifted with singing or can sit down to a piano or an organ and play masterfully without having had one lesson, you know, and, and kids that are able to do that, they're called child prodigies, you know, but we as adults and even our, our, our kids, but particularly I'm dealing with we as adults, there is a talent and a gifting inside of us innate abilities that came with our DNA. They were packaged with all of the other things, our eye color, our hair color, our height, uh, skin color, and things of that nature that um, were given to us because upon uh, creation, God the Father decided that you would be born. He told Jeremiah in the first uh, chapter of Jeremiah, in the fifth verse, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you and I had plans for you. I called you and I set you apart to be a prophet unto the nations. Now, okay, calm down. Maybe your particular assignment is not that of prophet to the nations. That's cool. I get that. But perhaps it's singing. Perhaps it's teaching. Perhaps it's um, being a medical physician. Perhaps it's being an attorney and God will use what we consider as secular jobs and positions to strategically set you up and align you for a purpose so much greater than what you could even imagine. And so in this season that we're currently in, I sense there is um, it, it's time now for the activation of our gifts. It's time now for the activation of these talents. <clears throat> Many of us have had season after season after season of trials and tribulations and hardships and things of that nature. And they've all served a valuable purpose. That being to shape us, to mold us, to prove us, to kind of get out all of the yucky stuff out of us and build our character, build our integrity. And so those hard times did not go to waste and they did not serve simply to frustrate us and cause us to want to give it up. But no, actually it helped to cleanse us up and to purify us and for some of us give us more of a compassionate heart and a compassionate nature whereby we're able to have more sensitivity toward others. And so in this season, um, I've been hearing a lot, reading a lot about activation, about uh, miracle signs and wonders being um, executed in this season. And not just what I've heard and read, but what I've sensed in my own heart and in my own spirit. And so I say this is a timely message, a timely word, a timely time for us to unleash those divine innate and unique abilities and let's go forward and do what God has called us to do. You know, your provision is there. Your greatest sense of peace and security is right there in your purpose. Did you know that? It really is. And so the faster you get that understanding, the faster you come to a full a measure of truth about who you really are. You're not who people say you are unless they have come to learn who you are, having heard that from God our Father. But it's time to, let's get going. I, I said before, it's like ready, set, bam. Let's go. We're off and we're running. So we're encouraged, we're empowered, and we're going to go right into our confessions in just a moment. We'll be right back with our faith confessions for our divine, unique abilities. <laughs> 